Hi, I'm Mike Bender, Director of Instruction at the Mike Bender Golf Academy at Timaquan Country Club here in Lake Mary, Florida. And what I'm going to show you today is when you're on the range practicing, if you've had some lessons or if you're trying to work on your golf swing, one of the things that's really important is to have feedback. Because uh, there's an old saying, even a uh, bad swing produces good shots sometimes. So, so the ball flight alone can be misleading. So uh, one, I'm going to show you a feedback station or an example of one that's typical for uh, the most common problems in the game. And that is if the club goes inside like this, kind of lifts, and then comes down over the top. So if you go to any Home Depot or uh, one of those type of stores, you can get a cone. And uh, basically what you want to do with that is you want to set the cone right down the toe line here. And you want to set it about even with, you know, the hosel of the club, about like this okay initially uh, and that what that's going to do is if you take the club head inside you're going to bang that and that's going to give you feedback if you go over the cone then you're going to miss it and then as i come up to the top if i come down over the top of it i'm usually going to hit it on the follow-through side so the other thing that we're going to do to prevent people from going and cheating the cone is we're going to use these two shafts and you can get them at any club repair shop they'll give them to you and you want to get a couple of driver link shafts and you want to stick them in the ground so they rest right on the edge of your shoulder. So they're about one inch from your shoulder, but on the same angle as your shoulder here. And what that's going to do is that's going to prevent you from lifting. If you lift, you bump into this. So now I've got a tee in the ground, and I'm going to take a tee to mark the spot. So once I know exactly where to hit from, because you have to hit from the same spot every time. Now I'm going to make a swing where I go over the cone turn and don't hit the shaft then I'm going to come underneath so it's going to look like this okay and then you want to make some soft practice swings until you can do it and then you want to go ahead and hit a shot so I'm going to go ahead now after I've made some good practice swings and then I'm just going to go ahead and hit the shot so if you work in your practice station with feedback you're going to improve a lot and your swing is going to get a lot better got pain Get Speed Gel today at your local Edwin Watts store or click the banner on the right for a special offer on Speed Gel.